Hi, I'm John Scott, instructor of German at University of Calgary's School of Languages, Linguistics, Literatures, and Cultures, and I made a constructed language, or conlang, for the Netflix show Archive 81. A little over a year ago, Netflix approached me thanks to a referral from one of my former professors at Indiana University. Not only did she know I'd be interested because I had taught a conlang course there before, but also because I had the necessary background in historical Germanic languages because she taught them to me herself. Rebecca Sonnenschein, the showrunner, brought me on to make a novel language to order. Based on the background of the show's narrative, I based the conlang on Old Saxon, a medieval Germanic language spoken in what is now Northern Germany. To derive a novel dialect, I then modified that base by applying a variety of changes to the language's sounds over time. Part of this involved applying common types of linguistic changes, and part by taking sound changes that had actually taken place in some other languages, such as Old Norse or Old High German. To translate parts of the show's script, I sometimes had to fill gaps in what's known of Old Saxon by drawing keywords from related Germanic languages. Along with the language itself, I designed a constructed script, a conscript, inspired by elements of Ulfila's Gothic alphabet, as well as the orthography of Dutch. One aspect of this project that I especially enjoyed was using historically appropriate poetic devices, such as the Germanic long line, alliteration, and poetic vowel harmony. Initial creation of the language, translation, transcriptions, and model recordings for the actors took about six weeks, followed up later by accent coaching with the actors. Throughout production, I was amazed by the attention to aesthetic details, which included hiring an actual medieval manuscript expert to create the codex in which the language I created appears. I'm glad to have been a part of such a dynamic partnership of humanities, linguistics, and the entertainment industry.